This hunting season was not, it sucked, all right? First hunt, I have a video about that. Went up there with Josh, saw a lot of deer, got myself a doe. Turned out that whatever I did to that doe, didn't cut it up fast enough and get it on ice, it went bad. So I can't even eat the meat. So that really sucks. But, you know, stuff happens. You win some, you lose some. But uh, just the season in general was just kind of, Kind of shitty. It wasn't super great, but we had some. We had a lot of fun times, like a lot of fun times. You know, my uncle came back from California, went up there with Paul, just had a blast. My cousin Scotty was there. It was a hoot and a half this season, but I just didn't get anything. So it it kind of, or I got one, but I didn't get anything else other than that doe. So it kind of bummed me out a little bit. But um, you know, what can you do? Sometimes you get deer, sometimes you don't. During the gun season, I had plenty, and the bow season, I had plenty of opportunities to get deer and get meat in the freezer, but I was just waiting for the big one, and the big one never walked past my stand, never got a shot. Um, it just it was a very interesting season. This is the first season I've gone without getting a uh, a deer during the gun season. I didn't get a single deer. I shot three times at two deer at 250 yards, and I missed both of them. Whose fault is that? That's mine. Uh, I never shoot deer at that range ever, um, because at my grandpa's land, you're never going to be shooting more than maybe 150 yards. You know, so at Scotty's, you could shoot up to four or five hundred yards if you could see a deer that far. You know, so. I never practice, which that's my fault. I should have practiced maybe a little bit, but I just didn't, you know. Usually, like last year I did a couple times, and I should have this year. Uh, that was just bad planning on my part. I was just like, oh, I'll be fine. No, my scope's fine, whatever. I, I should have. I should have at least shot like five rounds just to see how it was shooting. I didn't. That's my fault, so, you know. You live and you learn. But it was a lot of fun. So we were up at Scotty's cabin. I wish I still had, I think I deleted the footage, but he built this cabin in like 94 on his land that he owns and then renovated it and made it bigger. And let me tell you, dude, it was probably the most fun I've had with my dad. So it was my dad, Paul, Adam and I and Scotty and oh my god it was we were playing euchre we were drinking we were eating good food we were eating steaks with these shiitake mushrooms that Scotty grew oh my god they were so so good man I should have gotten video of that entire thing it was it was so much fun it was a hoot man but you know it just sucks that I didn't get any deer but you know, it's a great story that we all went up there, had a fun time. We all slept up there and stuff. It was, it was a lot of fun. But you know, the season was pretty good. Like the 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 little things were fun. Did a lot of deer drives, pushed out a lot of deer to like my dad and Jay Griggs, uh, this guy that's a friend of my grandpa who hunts with us because my grandpa's you know in a home and. Can't really get out there all the time. But overall, I mean, I'd say it was a pretty good season. It was f it was fun in that aspect of, you know, spending time with my dad and the Wakings. Besides Josh, which, well, I was a little mad that Josh wasn't, th Josh wasn't there. But he had, he had school stuff going on. So what can you do about that? You know, he's trying to get a degree. But it would have been a lot more fun if he was there, I feel like. But, you know, school is a lot more important than hunting you know career is a little bit more important than hunting if I had to put a number on how many deer I saw this past season I've, I don't know 50 probably even more than that I saw a lot of deer a lot of deer from the bow season to the gun season there was just deer everywhere I just couldn't get a nice buck or like a really big doe in range to where I'd want to shoot it. You know, the smaller ones taste better and all that, but it 
I have a little bit pride in myself and I want to shoot a big buck you know like I don't shoot big deer I can't shoot big deer because of how we hunt uh, I don't want to get into that too much but you know we we shoot other we pretty much shoot everything that moves that's just how we hunt and I'm kind of giving up on actually trying to do like a quality deer management on my grandpa's property because you can't it's impossible because we'll come there and try and do that for like the first day or even the first morning and then after that we start pushing the woods and walking through the woods and doing deer drives and it's game over from there because people are screaming oh deer oh shoot a, like all this shit and it kind of sucks but you know that's the way we hunt and I wish it would change, but I think I'm just giving up on the whole quality deer management at my grandpa's property because there's absolutely no point in doing it. Absolutely no point. I'm just going to flip that around. There's absolutely no, po no point in doing it. You know, like what is, uh, what's the point of trying to save all these deer just for some other guy to show up, which happens. You know, we go up there and... We go up there on a weekend, we'll stay like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then leave Sunday. And during the week, because the gun season's a week here in Wisconsin, during the weekdays, these other guys that are friends, friends of my grandpa will show up and, you know, shoot deer on the land, which is fine, you know, it's not my land, but it does kind of suck because they're just showing up and shooting whatever moves and bringing all their grandchildren, which is whatever. I, I can't really get too mad about the whole situation, but it does bother me a little bit. So, you know, that's just pretty much the recap for the entire season there, where it's just like these random guys show up, they shoot all these deer, and then next year, uh, who knows? All I know is that the cow, the big deer that I saw during the bow season that I put a shorts video out, a shorts video out about, Go and check that out. I'll link that down in the description for you guys. But I didn't hear, and neither did the Wakings, because they talked to a lot of the guys that own property around ours. Uh, they said that no, no big bucks were shot, so that's good. So that big deer that I saw during the bow season, and so I saw it. Scotty saw it, and Mike saw it. It is a beautiful big buck, like a beautiful deer. So I'm kind of glad that one didn't get shot. And there's also a couple more smaller-ish bucks, but still really good ones that I would be okay with definitely shooting, roaming around. Uh, so hopefully those guys are around for next year because that would be really cool if those ones showed up because that means there's kind of hope that, you know, as soon as the gun season starts, they just disappear. And they go hide somewhere and nobody shoots them and they just keep getting bigger. And then, you know, they get old enough to where they kind of get a little stupid and then you could stick an arrow in them, you know, during the bow season because that's the only real time you're going to get any big bucks up on that property. So hopefully next year I can get a big buck. I'm hoping and praying I want to get a big deer because my sister got a giant North Dakota buck this year. Giant. I'm going to pop up a picture um just a beautiful deer big buck on the last day of gun season in north dakota i'm extremely proud of her because i started hunting when i was 10 she wasn't even allowed to hunt until i think she was out of i think she was in college she was in college and she met a couple of guys when she was there in North Dakota and started hunting and now she's huge into hunting which is awesome and she was drawn for a tag out there and got one and she got this giant buck on the last day of gun season in North Dakota so I haven't shot a big buck since I was in eighth grade so I think that's like 2014 I haven't shot a big buck since 2014 I've shot a couple bucks here and there nothing big uh, I shot a buck a couple uh, years ago with my bow. Nothing nothing huge, but I did get a buck. Um, but hers is, like, just perfect. Big neck, 
perfect rack, like very symmetrical and all that, would probably score fairly high. And I'm like, man, I wish I could have that. You know, our cousin Scotty and his son Ethan, who, which is my, his son is my age, they get big bucks every year because they do quality deer management on their property. Ethan and Scotty both shoot at least one or two big bucks every single year. One during the bow season and one during the gun season. And I wish I could do that. It's just not in the cards at uh, my grandpa's land. Besides possibly during the bow season. I think I'm going to take the bow season next year a lot more serious. Uh, and like actually put in the work. And I, I think I'm going to invest in buying a climber. And go to these spots where I... Like there's deer there. You just like... Usually I'm either going to like a box stand that we built or a ladder stand. So you're not really moving those. You're definitely not moving the box stand. You could move the ladder stand, but that's a, not the easiest thing to do. So I think I'm going to invest in a climber and just go where I see all these deer and find a telephone pole and hike up it and see what happens and see if I can actually get some big deer because that's the goal. You know, it's also the goal to get some meat in the freezer, but it's like, I could just get a big buck and, like, just actually have the joy I used to have when I was a kid hunting. I, it would bring me so much joy. It would probably bring me to tears. Like, I, it's just not as fun as it used to be. Like, the hunting, like, bow hunting is very exciting because... All these deer will just come around and they're just not in range and you can't get a shot at them. But you get to look at them and kind of see how they operate. But during the gun season, you know, you'd shoot 200 yards away. Like, cool. You could shoot whatever Like you could shoot whatever you want during the bow season, but it has to come in a range. During the gun season, you could shoot whatever you want. Size or distance. So it's a lot easier. The adrenaline you still get during the gun season, it's just... It's not the same. It's it's definitely not the same. And now gun season isn't as fun as it used to be just because the land that I hunt on, my grandpa's land, is just blown out. Like, there's no big deer there. And it's just not enjoyable sitting on stand for three, four hours and not seeing any big deer. I'm kind of sick of it. It sucks. You know, I wish I had the opportunity to actually get some big deer. But I just don't. So that's why I'm going to take the bow season a lot more seriously because I know there's big deer around there and nobody shot them. So, so if, if I can get a climber and, have, and get closer to these deer and have opportunities, it's going to be a lot more fun. Way more fun. And I'm excited for it. You know, the season, well the bow season's still going out. I'm not going out. It's just too cold and I've taken a lot of trips and I'm just... I'm kind of sick of hunting right now. I'm really excited for the ice season. I got all my shit ready for the ice season. I got my shanty and all my gear sitting in the back of my car, or my truck, my Yukon, right now. Just waiting for nice, like, good, good ice. I think there's some good ice around town, but I, I don't really want to try it out right now. I'm a little sketched out. I should go and test a couple spots around town because it has been very, very cold. But back to the hunting thing, you know, it was really fun, but I just want to get the feeling I had as a kid because when you were a kid, it was a lot different. You got excited if the deer was small or not because you got a deer. You know, it's like I got some, I got some shooting and I got myself a, I got myself a deer. I harvested a deer. And now it's like, I'm 21 years old. I've been hunting since I was 10. I'm starting to kind of lose the fun that I used to have. Where, like, you get excited either way if you shot one or not. I mean, I probably could still get that feeling because I do pass on a lot of deer. And maybe I still would get that feeling if I shot these deer. But I want the feeling of a big buck walking out. And I just, you know, stick it with an arrow or shoot it or whatever. I, I want that feeling. I want to record it for you guys and for myself because 
I think that I I think I'm just adrenaline hungry right now and I just I just want something that I could be proud of where I could get a nice mount where it's like I took the time I went up there I scouted for these deer and I got that big buck so you know overall this this entire hunting season just for deer was I give it like a C plus wasn't great wasn't bad but I still I didn't fail you know, I had a lot of fun times. <laughs> and that's pretty much what it's all about. You know, hunting. I can't get too mad and be like, oh, I missed this. And I missed that feeling. Because now that I'm 21 and I'm getting better relationships with, like, my dad. Which is wild. I never expected that in a million years. That my dad and I would actually have, like, a halfway decent relationship now. Um, you know? We... It, it's good. Uh, I'm going to cherish the moments that I have with him and the waking boys and just go from there and see what happens, you know? <laughs> it's all the shit that we got into this past hunting season, you know, cooking for each other, eating these meals, arguing, like, yelling at each other about dumb stuff, you know? One day... You know, you're not going to have all that. You're not going to have your dad or all these opportunities to hunt with them. And now that I'm getting older, it's really getting slim. Because <clears throat> when I was growing up, shit, it was... Sorry. It was... It would be... It would be me, Alec, my dad, Paul, Adam, and Josh, and my grandpa. We'd all go to the land, and we'd all hunt there, and then the second weekend after Thanksgiving, we'd go and uh, hunt at Scotty's and have a fun time. You know, I always got kind of mad. I don't know. I just had a bad attitude when I was growing up, and I kind of miss having all those boys because Josh wasn't there. Alec has got football stuff going on still. And who knows? And that, like, who knows who's even going to be able to go next year? It might even just be me and Paul next year, or it could be all of us. It could be everybody that it used to be, the entire crew, minus my grandpa. Or he might be there, you know. But somebody's got to take care of him because he's so old and, you know, problems with cancer and getting that removed and just, he's old. He's like 87 years old. You know, he's a pretty old guy. So it's hard for him to get around, but, you know. Now that we're all older and mature and have, like, a better look at life and our relationships between all of us are pretty good, hopefully we can get back into that next year and we'll see what happens. But the 2023 hunting season is over for me. And hopefully, uh, hopefully next year is pretty good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I didn't even make a script for this video. I'm just going straight off the head. I just turned on the camera. I'm like, I got to film a video. You know, I want to. And it's just, that's the 2023 recap. We saw a lot of deer. Didn't get much. Hopefully next year's better. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep having fun. Keep making memories. That's what it's all about. You know. Having memories with other people and having stories, I think, is the number one key to life. Because you'll remember those stories forever. So, keep having fun, people. I'll see you next time.